Was your TikTok account banned and you're hoping to get it back? You are in the right place. Here is exactly how to recover a banned TikTok account in 2021. Let's cue that intro and while the intro is playing, comment your previous rest in peace TikTok handle below. Hey guys, my name is Rachel Peterson and I'm a social media strategist. I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the reasons why TikTok accounts get banned, how to potentially remedy this, including several different solutions. But stick until the end because I'm going to share with you TikTok's email in case the things that you've been trying have not been working. So the very first thing that I want to share with you is oftentimes the reasons that people get their accounts banned. Some of those reasons include uh, not being the right age, not verifying your age within the app, uh, maybe sharing banned content. I think it's really important that you review the guidelines, the uh, rules of TikTok so that you know that your content isn't gonna get you banned. There are certain topics, words, etc., that can get you into trouble with TikTok. Other reasons that you can get your TikTok account banned include bullying people, cyberbullying, uh, sharing stuff that is confidential or private, uh, doxing people, all of those things can create major issues that ultimately get your account banned. But there is sometimes the case where accounts are mistakenly banned. And that is mostly what I'm gonna be supporting with today. If your account was banned because of age, for example, you have to be at least 13 years of age or older on TikTok without parent permission. Um, and usually that includes having written permission, but most of the time kids under the age of 13 run the risk of being banned from this platform. I also know a lot of parents who have shared their kids in their videos and gotten their accounts banned because of that. So just keep that in mind when you're creating content that involves kids. Now, the very first thing that I recommend is uh, a little bit controversial. So this depends on where your account was at. If you already had at least a thousand followers or 10,000 or even more hundreds of thousands or millions of followers, I don't recommend this advice. Keep watching because I'll share what to do in that case. But if you had like, let's say 50 or 100 followers and the account wasn't consistently going viral or growing, Growing, it might be the best thing to simply start a new account. And I know that that's not popular advice, but that's my honest advice. It's very difficult to get in touch with support from major social media platforms. That is true for TikTok, Instagram, and even Facebook. But now I'm going to share with you what to do in two different cases. Okay. So sometimes you will be given the option to appeal it inside of the TikTok app or inside of the email that is uh, associated with your TikTok account. And if that's the case, appeal it and explain to them why what you did shouldn't have you be banned, why it was a mistake, what went wrong, etc. So that option can sometimes come up inside of the app as a notification from TikTok. It can also come up as an email from TikTok to the email address that is on file for your uh, profile. Uh, but then the other thing that I want to share with you as well is let's say you don't have emails set up. You may want to go to your TikTok profile, click the three little dots in the upper right hand corner and go to reviewing your profile. From there, you're going to select privacy and settings. And there you can actually, as long as you're able to access it, you can hit report a problem. If there are more options available. You're going to want to select account issue. And then from there, you're going to choose add an email and add in your email address there, send an email to TikTok. Of course, that's if you are still able to access all of those options. If not, then let's go on to what to do next. The next big thing that you can do is send an email to TikTok directly. Now I'm going to share with you guys the email that I recommend sending these emails to, but there are other email addresses that you can sometimes find, or you could test out like support or help at tiktok.com, test out some of those different emails. Before I share this email, this is really important though. You have to be consistent. You have to be persisting. You have to consistently send them the same emails over and over, sometimes daily until you get your account back. I don't recommend sending it more than once every 24 or 48 hours though, but just consistently sending that until it happens. And I know people who have gotten banned accounts back. I know of people who have gotten videos put back up just by being consistent. So just keep that in mind. So the email from 
TikTok that you can send these concerns to is business-service-support at tiktok.com. That's business-service-support at tiktok.com. So comment below and let me know what questions you have, what kind of support you want, what other tutorials do you guys want about TikTok. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will catch you guys later. Bye for now.